Hey guys, I'm back, and this time I'm doing a review on Matter Hackers Pro Series PLA filament, and I've been wanting to try this stuff for quite some time. Picked up a spool, and let me tell you what I think about it. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, first of all, my name is Paul. This is my channel where nerdy is cool. I talk about 3D printing. I do 3D uh, printer filament reviews. I'm big into cosplay. I have an all aluminum R2D2. I've got a bat suit. I got a stormtrooper suit. I'm into all kinds of nerdy funness. So welcome. Uh, if you've never seen my stuff before and you're kind of interested, make sure you hit the button down below and subscribe. I don't want you to miss any of my cool videos. Okay, so first the basics, this material I paid for with my own money. So this is not something that Matter Hackers has given me or, you know, and there's, any, there's no kickbacks or anything like that. Uh, this is just me giving my opinion, my personal opinion on what I think of this material. So let's start with the beginning. So, so one of the first things I noticed when I received the filament was the bag wasn't exactly, I mean, <clears throat> I was expecting like most filaments when they're vacuum packed. Uh, this one, it wasn't all, <laughs> it wasn't super tight. Uh, I mean, it was in the bag, but uh, you know, it just wasn't sealed as tightly as we're used to with our, a lot of our 3D printer filaments. So that caught my eye. And then when I unpackaged it, and you know, I've seen a lot of materials where the, the, the way that they, you know, spiralize and, and place the filament on the spool is really, really tight and looks Great. and this one looked a little haphazard to me. Now, in their defense, I didn't have any tangles or issues, but again, these were just observations I made, you know, taking the material out of the package. Um, because I had some questions on, geez, you know, did, how, how well was it sealed or has, a, has air gotten in there? Uh, I put this in my uh, Print Dry Pro and I ran that uh, overnight for 12 hours at uh, 55 degrees Celsius to make sure the filament was good and dry before I loaded it up. One of the things I noticed is when I was looking at the spool, I didn't see any references as far as temperature range. I've, I've seen most materials will say, you know, 190 to 220 or what have you. Uh, this decal uh, does not say anything. So what I did is when I went to go do my temperature tower, which I do for all my materials, this is the PLA one that just does the basic 185 to 225. And on mine, <laughs> uh, it did great at 220 and then 200. And then when it went to 195, uh, it just stopped extruding on my machine. So I decided to quickly check the website and sure enough, the recommended extrusion temperature was 205 degrees Celsius and they list, you know, plus or minus 15 degrees Celsius. So yeah, so in my case, uh, this told me rather quickly that uh, anything less than 200 was not going to work. Now for reference, the machine I printed this on is my CR10S. It's got a Bontech direct drive system and the bed surface is a uh, Wham Bam Systems uh, textured PEI sheet. And that's why all these prints have a beautiful textured bottom. So you'll see that in the close-ups. And off we went on our test prints. So after we did the temperature tower, I wanted to find out the ideal temperature range. And as I indicated in my first temperature tower, it was pretty obvious that uh, uh, you know anything under 200 was gonna be no good. But looking at the results of the temperature tower told me that, you know, looking at the uh, little cone that's inside this test print, uh, it looked to me that 205 was gonna be the sweet spot. Actually, 200 looked really good too, but I decided to go a little bit warmer. And for my settings, what I did is my first layer, I always make a little bit warmer. So I did 207 for the first layer and 205 for all subsequent layers and 100% fan uh, as we did all these test prints. Next up was doing the extrusion multiplier and we wanted to make sure that we're not over or under extruding. So basically at 100% flow or a multiplier or an extrusion multiplier 1.0, we did our first print and it came out beautiful. And when we went through and did the measurements, we decided that 90% was gonna be just perfect based on the measurements we got. And as you can see here, uh, it printed very nicely. And the interesting thing with this material is, you know, you're not seeing the layer lines. I've used a lot of silk materials where it's very glossy and shiny and you don't see any layer lines whatsoever. I wasn't sure what to expect from the Pro Series PLA. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have those obvious layer resolutions showing up or not, but uh, these look really, really good. 
Next up, I wanted to make sure my retraction settings were just right. So I went through and I did a quick retraction tower. And uh, as you can see from the results, we have uh, no stringing and no issues there whatsoever. So the default settings that I have on my 3D printer worked just fine. Once I felt I had the settings pretty well dialed in, I thought, let's go ahead and let's do the benching. And as you can see here, it looks great. I don't see any real issues here. Everything looks good uh, all around the boat. The, the top looks like it's infilled pretty nicely. Uh, the top of the arch, I got a little bit of a dangle here, but other than that, it looks good. Next up, I did the 3D printer test. I, I enjoy this. This has bridging and it has a lot of small details and you have the overhangs. And I mean, this is also gonna be how, you know, how well dialed in your machine is as well too. But uh, with these uh, overhangs at the very bottom here, you'll find out kind of, you know, where, where things start to, uh, you know, come loose on you. And that, a lot of that will be based on, you know, your part cooling fan and other settings. But uh, I found that on one side, I went up to 75 degrees, no trouble. And on the big one, uh, I made it to 70 and I got a few little dangles here right under 80. But uh, underneath here where the bridging is and uh, all those other details and of course, you know, the uh, circles and fill all look really, really good. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about how this material is performing and the settings I'm using. So one more thing I wanted to do is I wanted to do a part. I mean, this is something that I'm gonna be using on one of my other machines. So this is a mount uh, that would go inside a control box so that'll hold a fan. And I wanted to see how it would do. And uh, again, you know, it printed it very nicely. Um, I'm on a good streak here. Everything printed out very well. Uh, I could see in the very top of my circle here where this fan hole is, I had a little bit of an angle. Uh, I probably could have used some support there, but I wanted to give it a go without. And this part looks excellent. Excellent. Okay, now I really wanted to see this material shine, so I gave it to Luby Dragon. And as you can see here, and uh, I'll zoom in nice and close, it looks really, really good. This is an excellent print. I have really no squawks here. Uh, some of the spots where I would generally have some issues, uh, like on the belly and such, <clears throat> sometimes I can you know, have a little bit of an overhang. This did a pretty good job. I have some very minor stringing. Again, the heat gun would clean this up, but this looks great. Did a great job. Okay, so do I like it or not? I like it. Now, there's a few complaints I have. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I wish that the label had said, you know, hey, what's the temperature range? Uh, I wish the vacuum pack was actually sealed tight so that when I popped it open, I could, you know, the air was you know hissing out uh the the way that the the wind on the spool it, you know it's not as tight as i've seen with others but it was fine i didn't have any issues uh and again you know this is one of those things where maybe it's just my luck uh maybe the current inventory does have the correct sticker uh maybe i got the one weird bag where you know the vacuum had let out who, who knows these kind of th these kind of things happen to me sometimes didn't affect the print quality because as i mentioned when i received it i put it in my print dry pro and over Overnight, we dried it just in case any moisture had gotten in there. But everything that I printed came out very nicely. And I think for a lot of the projects I do where I'm printing big things that can take several days, I would have no problem trusting these projects to be printed in this material. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to your comments down below and make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like the video because YouTube likes those kind of stats. And yeah, let me know. Uh, the other thing I wanna make sure you're aware of is I'm on social media. So be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course the website where nerdyiscool.com. Again, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you become a subscriber by hitting that button down below. And until the next video, remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Line. Those glasses. A little better. And one more time. Five, four, three, two. What I think of it. I rambled. Five, four. I'll show you what I think of it. I won't tell you what I think of it. Okay. B is I wish the information was on the sticker. <laughs> what a, oh, I just lost my TV. Earlier, and they may have to be. <laughs> yeah, you're done. Five, four.